what is up everybody my name is jay lichen i am a manifestation coach on this youtube platform i create videos within manifestation success stories law of assumption law of attraction and everything within the train of spirituality and getting your desires instantly please be sure to subscribe down below turn the post notification bell on and like this video for more content daily coming i do offer emo one-on-one -on -one coaching services please feel free to hit me up in my gmail check the description down below for more okay guys so in today's video i, I am going to be giving you guys five things to remember when it does come to manifesting and manifestation in general i felt like to give this video because there is always something in your mind that's slipping through the crack and truly trying to make you think that none of this is real that manifestation only works a certain way that this is how it's supposed to go and no i'm here to cut all that out and truly give you guys five ways to stay being put on to your desires and having it and knowing that you already are it you are what you are and you are what you manifest and therefore you are everything that you truly desire in that subconscious mind of yours so without further ado let's just jump straight into the video be sure to like and let's get started Okay, boom, five things to keep in mind when manifest. The first thing I have written down is the 3D realm not existing. Therefore, we can twist and bend our reality. So the way it works is you guys, we are living in a physical 3D realm right now. If you're watching this, yep, you're here too. Hi, welcome. We're in a 3D physical realm within our human body. This human body is a suit for our soul and spirit and our inner guide and inner being. However, we're in the physical 3D, therefore we live through the physical 3D. However, we obtain other dimensions and therefore that is your 4D, which are your thoughts, your 5D, which is your higher self. And yes, you guys, yes, there is lower Ds than the 3D. And I'm not even gonna get into that because we're not gonna tap into that energy. However, truly understand that the 3D is not real. The 3D is literally what you're seeing in your physical form. And it is true when you truly do have certain things you think about within your 4D, which are your thoughts, they manifest in your 3D. Therefore, that's why we are telling everybody 3D does not exist. Affirm and persist within your 4D. Receive in your 3D because your 3D is where it all is. Your 3D is where you receive it in the physical form however it starts within your 4d and your thoughts and what you would create your thoughts to be you guys already know your thoughts create your reality your thoughts create your future and that's just that and that's what it is moving on to number two our subconscious mind is the key to turning our manifestations into reality the way this works is you guys our subconscious mind is what is truly programmed from the age of as children birth and basically growing up we have something called our subconscious mind and it's what the computer that is programmed from us that project out into our reality therefore whatever we learn within our minds at young ages as babies and information that we are given and we seep it in through our subconscious mind when it is open at various times of younger ages we tend to have those beliefs and a lot of common things are a lot of common things that college students may have because they are programmed from age of birth therefore when they grow up that's what they're manifesting and that's what they're truly seeing within their 3d physical reality that's why it's so important to work on your subconscious mind deprogram your subconscious mind and truly understand and really know you are the creator of your reality and there is nothing nothing that is blocking that so keep in mind your subconscious mind is a huge part of this I feel like when it comes for me personally, I keep reminding myself that like, none of this is real, 3D doesn't exist, but I literally change my subconscious mind every time I affirm, every time I do techniques, every time I meditate, every time I truly get within the zone of knowing my manifestation is my manifestation. I know that because my subconscious mind is to know that everything comes to me easily and manifestation is perfect and easy. Therefore, there's nothing to worry because my subconscious mind knows it. Now it's programmed into my life. Moving on to number Three. The reality and universe where your desire is yours is your universe now once you realize that. That is also you and you are the one that is meant to truly have it. So I'm going to explain that a little better. In society, we are so programmed to truly understanding, wait, but that can't happen for me. Wait, but that's like out of out of range. Wait, but that's like really logic. Like they, there's so much things that are pushed towards us in society that make us believe that we're not worthy of our manifestation. However, the reality and parallel universe of where your desires are fully yours to the fullest extent is the same one that you're in. You have to truly just switch your mindset up, switch your understanding up, change that subconscious mind and babe, really realize that your manifestation is yours already. There is no and what if about it, like it is done already. However, you need to truly understand and not let the societal influence block you from truly understanding that. If you have a desire, what makes you think you will not get it right now? What makes you think that you're so far from that parallel universe of receiving your desire that it won't come to you? Because it came to you already. It is already in the same universe and parallel dimension that you are in right now. And you need to own that to its fullest extent. You hear me? Okay, let's move on to number four. So number four kind of goes within the realm of the subconscious mind and everything within that. However, number four is 
blocks circumstances limiting beliefs are not real they are created from your subconscious mind at a young age once again we learn so much things and i feel like i have to say this one separately and it's because when you're thinking of a manifestation and you're like i want to manifest ramen noodles but that's just where it is that but is never needed that but is not real that but is created from your subconscious mind when you were younger to think there is logic between things and ways of working through this society. That's not even meant to be there. When you say, I wanna manifest ramen, I'm gonna get it today. You don't say, I wanna manifest ramen, but I don't have no money in my bank account. But all those things are limiting beliefs and you truly have to learn how to affirm and persist through that saying. I am manifesting ramen noodles because I want them. I am manifesting ramen noodles because I can. I manifest ramen noodles out of thin air and I get it instantly. Your subconscious mind is the reason you have limiting beliefs blockages fears doubts worries concerns circumstances none of those are real everything I just said is not real because that was never meant to be real you are truly meant to flourish within this human experience within this 3d realm and dimension and truly get all your desires that you truly want there is nothing you can even try to say that will ever make me not think that because that's just the way it is there is studies and tests on your subconscious mind that truly prove that if you guys need a video on that, I got y'all ASAP. I will become a scientist in this lab. Don't play with me. Moving on to number five and the last one. Time. I want my manifestation within a week. I want my manifestation within five days. I like need my manifestation right now. Okay, but I want to get it in the next hour. Can I get it in a couple seconds? What are you guys talking about? Time is an illusion. Time is not real. Time was never a thing that was existed. I'm gonna, I'm gonna set y'all back really quick if you think I'm going crazy by saying all this. Who the hell created time? Who wrote in the book that created time? Who said 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 8 o'clock? Who said that? And if you're really that truly ignorant to believe the person that said that, you're for the matrix, you're in the matrix, that's you. But hey, listen, time is an illusion. Time is not real. The universe does not rely on time. Therefore, whatever you are desiring and manifesting comes instantly, comes instantly. Manifestation is instantly and perfect. Get it through your head and your subconscious mind. Your desire is here already. You do not need to manifest on a time crunch. Time crunches aren't real. Why? Because everything is present and your manifestation is right here in front of you and there's nothing you can stop. There are people on YouTube who truly manifest things within seconds. Close their eyes and visualize and boom. When they open it, it is right there. Because that's how it truly was meant to be. That's how it truly was meant to come and manifest. You are truly the desire and you, you manifest what you are, not what you want. Because what you want is what you will become. And that's what manifests, which is what you are. It's literally what it is. Is, and that's literally how it was meant to be okay guys i truly hope these five tips helped you guys truly understand and remember through manifestation and truly getting within that zone and void you have all your desires and creation was already created for you therefore you are meant to flourish and live your best human experience within this 3d realm thank you guys so much for watching today's video i hope this video helped you guys in so so much ways Please be sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe down below, and turn my post notification bell on to be notified every single time I post. And I love you guys so, so, so much. It really means a lot that I have support from you guys. Please be sure to stay elevated and manifesting like a legend. And I will see you guys in my next YouTube video.